this is San Diego Magician Tom Interval. Welcome to another Interval of Magic. Today I would like to show you a really cool coin trick with this coin. It's really not as much of a coin trick as it is a little coin routine. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this Interval of Magic. Hi there, how are you? What's your name? Denise, nice to meet you. I am Tom. I would like to show you the impossible by predicting the future, hopefully. What I'm going to do is, on this card, I'm going to write or draw four lines and five numbers. So, on this card, there are five spaces. And I'm going to ask you, you can see there are five, I'm going to ask you to name a number between one and five. It doesn't matter which one, which number would you like to name? Three, I'm going to draw a red oval around space number three. And in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll save a little time. Uh, name any two other numbers, it doesn't matter. Because ultimately I'm going to have you select three numbers. You would like what? Two and five. Are you sure those are the numbers you want? One and five? Okay, well that's fine. You can change your mind as often as you like. So one and five, we're going to also place a red oval on one and five. It honestly, truly does not matter which numbers we use, as long as you understand that you had a completely free selection. Do you agree you had a completely free selection? Good. Now, of course, you may have noticed the coin on the table. And what I'm going to do in a second, Denise, is something amazing with this coin. Coin flipping goes back to ancient China. And I believe that there was a Chinese symbol that was called ship or, uh, ship or uh, let's see, what was it? Here, I have to cheat, actually, if I think I have it written down. It was called ship or head. So ship or head. And this evolved to heads and tails, right? So eventually, heads and tails was used to determine a 50-50 choice of some sort. So the way they did this was through coin flipping. And of course, it does involve a coin. This is a Morgan dollar, heads and tails. And it's a standard coin. In fact, Denise, I want you to look at it. And I want you to look at both sides, bend it, do whatever you want. You can't really bend it. Okay. So I'm going to flip this coin five times to correspond with the number of positions on this card. So we'll start with number one and we'll work our way down to five. Fair enough? Perfect. Now, if I take this coin and flip it, what is it? Heads. Do me a favor. With this pen, I want you to write down heads. That's right, in position number one. Now, let's flip the coin again. This time it's number two. Uh, this is tails, so do me a favor, write down tails, and we'll just keep on doing this until we're completely done doing this. Now, uh, number three, same exact thing, uh, after it flips, I want you to write down exactly what you see, tails, write down tails in number three's position. Now remember, flipping a coin is 50-50. Remember this. It's important to remember this write down heads for position number four. It's important to remember this because if I did it only one time, and let's say I could predict the flip, well, it's not as amazing because then it's 50-50, correct? So what I'm gonna try to do is something completely amazing, predict all of the flips that you selected. This one is tails. Write down tails in number five position. Now remember, Denise, you started by selecting any five or any three numbers out of these five numbers you wanted. And I honestly had no idea which numbers you'd select. I honestly had no influence over which numbers you would select. So these are the numbers you selected and the coin flips that correspond to those numbers, heads or tails. Before we even began, 
I wrote down a prediction. So the numbers you selected, the coin flips that correspond to your numbers, let's look again, the ones that are circled, heads, tails, tails, heads, tails, tails. What are the odds of me getting that prediction right? Well, in this case, it's 100%. Heads, tails, tails. Now, Denise, I'd like to show you one other coin trick. It's actually a lot faster than the other one. It involves this coin. Now, why would I use this coin instead of this coin? This is an ordinary coin. This is a trick coin. This trick coin is actually a double-headed coin. It's also called a double-sided coin. Some people might call it a double-header. They also make them with tails as well. Um, it's a Morgan half dollar, or a, it's a Morgan dollar, and you can see it's heads on both sides. Now, you can cheat a lot in a coin game just by flipping it up. No matter how many times you flip it, it's always going to end up as heads, as you can see. We'll do that again. I can do this a hundred times. It's always going to be a heads. Doesn't matter. Heads, heads, heads. I can do it a thousand times. It's always going to be a heads because that's the way this particular coin is made. Now, here's the cool thing. If you, say, are cheating, which I don't recommend, <laughs> but if, let's say, you're cheating and you don't want to get caught and someone sees both heads at the same time while it's flipping, all you do is you take the normal coin, the tail side, and you take the double-headed coin and you place it on top, and you rub it like this, and it, too, takes on the tails. So now you are holding two ordinary coins. Okay, welcome to the explanation. Uh, this is a really easy trick, a really easy prediction effect, and they're kind of like there's kind of like a bonus effect afterward as well. So the first effect, as you saw, is you can predict basically three coin flips based on a random number the select the spectator selects a random number between one and five. Okay, so for this trick, you will need. Thanks for watching and or listening to this interval of magic. If you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, along with a variety of other great magic-related content, please help support my work by becoming a Patreon patron at www.patreon.com slash tominterval. Also, please like and share this, subscribe to my Interval Magic YouTube channel, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at Interval Magic. Until then, may your intervals be happy, peaceful, and magical.